It's a lovely July morning. And we've come to Merstrom, which is near Rygate, to visit the London and South East Classic winning loft of Doug Gatlin. Thanks very much for allowing me to come and see the pigeons this morning, Doug. No problem. What's this one? It's a nice looking checkered cock. That's the 1994 London and South East Classic Club Poe winner. Yeah. yeah. 546 miles on the day. How many day pigeons was it? There's nine day pigeons. Yeah, lovely pigeon. What strain is he? He's a champion major crossed with Catrice bloodlines. Um, champion major and the Catrice came through Stanwitz and Whitchurch. Yeah. So he was down from his old man, his old good old. That's right, the old man, the Spanish diploma winner. He's yeah. the grandson. That, that actually won the uh, big show, didn't it? That, pigeon? that won the Blackpool show as well. Yeah, yeah. I ended up pigeon once. Brilliant. Very yeah, nice. Beautiful dark yeah. yeah. um, So uh, this cop actually was raced on Woodward, wasn't he? He was raced Woodward, yeah. It just shows that you can win how we would have been, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Do you believe in our sign at all, Doug? No, not really. I haven't taken a great deal of interest in it. No, has this cop bred you any winners? Um, not yet, no. He's uh, always been in the race team because he's such a good cop, but he's now in the stock loft and hopefully he's going to start breeding some winners soon. Yeah, I think he's got a racing eye, actually, from what I know about it. Lovely pigeon, isn't he? Good old stager. That's it, he's always consistent. He's won over a thousand pounds in channel races. Yeah. You say he was a bad young bird? He was a very bad young bird. He had three young bird races and got lost from all of them. Um, he took about four years before he matured and then from then on in it's been constant, consistent performances. Great pigeon, mate. Doug flies natural and Woodward. This is his natural loft and stock loft. And the stock section has got a nice wire aviary on the end where the birds can get out and have a bath. This is Doug's stock loft. Birds look very happy feeding their young ones. When did you pair your stock birds up, Doug? They're paired up normally the first week in January. And the first round of eggs from the stock birds moved under the wood of a cob. It's a nice looking pigeon, Doug. What's this one? All right, this is this year's London and South East Classic Club, fourth open. It's fourth open this Fourth year. open on the day again. And the only pigeons was on the day this time? Just eight pigeons on the day this year. Brilliant performance. Was he Woodward as well? This is Woodward again and prepared in the same way as last year's winner. It just shows that you can fly Woodward for the distance. You oh, proved yeah. that all right. Yeah. Well, um, what strain is this pigeon? This pigeon is another cross. He's a Clairbout Cross Cadu, um, originating from Duncan Harvey in Cornwall, a very close friend of mine. Yeah. He's a great pigeon, mate. Doug has two Woodward sections. One section for inland racing. And one's for channel racing. This is the inland racing team. And there's two first federation winners in here. It's the first federation winner in Doug. Where did he win the fed from? He won the first Surrey Federation race this year from Weymouth. 109 miles. Yeah, nice cut. What strain's he? This is a Mullman pigeon. Bred through from Dennis Leach. He's certainly a good looking cock, isn't he? This is Doug's very smart little young bird loft. Trap through Sputnik traps. This is the scene inside Doug's young bird shed. When do you start training young birds, Doug? Uh, normally the first week in July. I start them off quite yeah. short with a few short tosses. Yeah, you had a good pigeon in the Classic last year as well, didn't you? Young That's birds. right, yeah, ninth open in the Guernsey Classic young bird. Yeah. That's one of your favourite cocks, is it, Doug? That's right, yeah. This is a He's a first federation winner, is he? That's right, he won the, the fed from Weymouth this year. Over 4,000 pigeons. He's had three federation positions this year, and he was also fifth fed as a young bird. Did he win as a young bird? Yep. Won the club? Won the club as a young bird, yeah, and he's only a year in now. He's a nice pigeon, he's isn't he? He's bred by Duncan Harvey of Cornwall, um, directly related to his national winning pigeons. These are Doug's Woodward Channel pigeons. When did you pair your Woodward pigeons up, Doug? All the Woodwards are paired up first week in January, same as the stock birds. Yeah, when did you pair your natural pigeons up? Natural pigeons are paired up about a month later. Look nice and quiet, your Woodwards, isn't they? Yeah, they're nice and calm in this loft. Doug was fourth out in SMT Combine this year for Wrens with a natural hen, and this is where she lives.
So this is your fourth combine hen, Doug? That's right, yep. Yeah. Sits from Wrens this year? Yep. She won the club by a big margin, didn't she? Yeah, she was virtually an hour clear of the club. The quote was about 160 yards per minute. Beautiful pigeon. What strain is she? She's a mixture of strains, which is really my own channel family, blended in from Westcott pigeons um, with some Gen Arden thrown in as well. Yeah. How was she sitting when she was... Uh... She was 19 days and uh, the morning of the basketing she was slipped about four eggs, so she was actually sitting about six eggs the day of basketing. Yeah, she's a beautiful hen, isn't she? I understand you've got a second hobby then, Doug. You can actually swim without a rubber ring. I can swim without a rubber ring, or well, I used to anyhow. Yeah. I swam for England for four years, which the best achievement was captain in the England team during the 1990 season. Yeah, terrific. Did, did you swim abroad? I swam all over Europe. Um, I went swimming European Championships in Rome, um, Budapest, Canada. I've been all over. Great, well done, mate. Thanks very much for having us around us.